We have a very, 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 very special and near and dear guest kicking off our second part of this amazing concert. Jin. <laughs> well, before she jumps up on stage, you know, she is a 58 Green alum. She has worked with Larry Woolmore and Late Night on Seth Meyer, performed all over Come New York. On. But this is our 25th anniversary Woo! concert. Woo! Yeah. 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 25 years of music, friends, and you guys, our friends and family, giving us the attention we need. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, I'd like to start with religion today. <laughs> Christian, so uh, I'm not anymore. <laughs> uh, no, my biggest thing with Christianity was like, um, so there's this like powerful spiritual being in the sky with this like master plan for your life. And this holy being with the plan is a guy. <laughs> um, my ex-boyfriend couldn't plan a dinner. <laughs> we'd be hanging out and he'd be like, babe, do you have a snack? And I'd be like, um, yes I do, because I'm a woman and so is God. <laughs> yeah. um, this boy dumped me. <laughs> he was great. He was great. I was too emotionally dependent on him, which it made sense because we were um, in a relationship. <laughs> he dumped me because we were dating. <laughs> explore his options, which didn't make sense to me because I don't know about you guys, but um, my dating life is not like a multiple choice situation. <laughs> it's true or false, mostly false. Like I would do anything to avoid breaking up with people, anything. Like if we're together, we're dying bored together. Okay. Like, I mean, okay, there was like one moment where um, we were high and I looked at him and I just realized we weren't meant to be together. Like, it was just so full of like resentment and anger. And I was like, damn, I've got to stop smoking weed. <laughs> Sociopath, you need to break up with him. And I was like, no, he's just shy. <laughs> he has a hard time showing his feelings. <laughs> like, bitch, he has no feelings. He's crazy. <laughs> um, I still smoke out of his pipe because um, I stole it. <laughs> Or settlement for the relationship. <laughs> My alimony, yes. Uh, guys, I'm really gonna do it. I'm gonna graduate unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. My mom's pissed. I'm gonna do it. Uh, some of you already know this, but I got a tiger mom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like when I was six, um, I used to play piano. And I had this big competition coming up, right? So I practiced this song for like an entire year. I go in, I play the piece perfectly, and then I'm celebrating with my brother in the hotel lobby. My mom comes up to me and she goes, I was disappointed in your performance. <laughs> um, and it would have made sense if I played a song by like, Rachmaninoff or Beethoven, but the song I played was called Squirrels in the Yard. <laughs> the composer. 
composer's name was Mary Clark. <laughs> no, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. That I'm the one graduating without a job because like, I'm that person. Like I studied business, you know, um, I sound like I'm perpetually in a meeting. Uh, yeah, like people look at me and they go like, oh my God, she's gonna have a career. Cause you know like some girls, you look at them and you're like, oh my god, she's gonna get married. <laughs> she's gonna be so happy for her. Uh, so, so my mom loves to like give me career advice, right? Which is, this is mean, but I, I just find it like a little hard to take her seriously. Cause she's a housewife. Like, it's a little hard to take career advice from someone who is, um, technically a gold digger. Oh. And like a bad one. Cause my dad's an engineer and like the last time I checked, engineers make a lot less money than LeBron James. Like, <laughs> like, like at least Kenya from Real Housewives is driving a Porsche. My mom drives a Honda. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Okay. Well, thank you. Second half of the evening, give it up.